what's up guys welcome back to another type up video in today's video I'm gonna be walking you through the steps of how to create your own beautifully looking custom thumbnail in 2021 if this tutorial was helpful please go down below this video and smash the like button and the subscribe button as it really helps me out okay guys so first what you're gonna want to do is type in pic pixelr.com forward slash X into your browser then you'll be redirected to pixelr which is the software that you're going to be using for your thumbnail you can use photoshop if you have it but this software is completely free for people who can't use photoshop you then go to create new then you can choose your name and your width and height of your picture <coughs> so i'm going to call this one thumbnail tutorial this this is the right resolution for a thumbnail so i'm going to click so guys, once you click the create image button, you'll, you'll get shown this screen. This is the thumbnail editor where you can add all sorts of nice stuff to your picture. I mean, first of all, you need to select a picture, of course, before you can edit it. And I'm going to show you how to do all of the selecting, editing, all of that stuff in today's video. So remember to stay tuned. So I'm going to show you every single one of these buttons one by one. So But the first thing you have to do for your thumbnail is insert your base image. So, so you click add image, then you have three options over here. You, you have browse, URL and stock. Browse takes an image from your computer and adds it. URL, you can add an image from the web, straight from the web, without any downloading at all. And stock, there's a whole library of different photos inside the software that you can use. But so for now I'm going to use browse as I've installed my things. And just to let you know, the thumbnail to, that I'm going to be working on in this tutorial is going to be a camping thumbnail. So I'm going to use this base image. Okay, this is my base. So now this is going to be with the picture that we're editing for the thumbnail. So the next thing that, you, that most thumbnails have, you know, is they have a subject. So we're going to need to add a subject in, like this. Just to let you know, this thumbnail is possibly not going to look because I'm just going to have to try every single feature for it, just for this tutorial. So please don't send me hate in the comments if this thumbnail looks rubbish. So now we have the boy. He looks quite happy that he's camping. But we also need to add some text to make this thumbnail look better. So we to do that we click the add text button. You can choose from loads of templates down here. I'm going to show you how to add a new default text. So in this bo box that says text, you you're gonna, you can type your text. So I'm going to say camp. I'm going to call it epic camping holiday. Of course we don't want the font as Vidana, so we just go into this list and change it. Which font would look good for camping? Camping holiday. Oh, this one will look. This one. This one will do just nicely. So then we go to the size here. We size up our text so it looks better on our thumbnail. Okay, fine. Size it down a bit, and we can plonk that text right there. But there's some more stuff that we can do. You can do curve which changes the letters around a bit. You can add a background to it, which we don't want to do because it ruins our photo. You can also add a thicker outline to it. You can choose the colour of your outline over here. I'm just going to do a green outline because it's a camping holiday. You can also add a shadow to it. Outline, green. You can also add blur to your text, but it's not really that important. You don't have to do it distance you could also add you can choose you can choose how transparent it is and you could also ch and you can also choose the color of your shadow okay, so that's the basic tutorial of how to do text you can also add elements to your to your thing which I'm, I'm gonna add a shape which one shall I add? I'm 
gonna add let's go to summer quotes which one of these looks most like camping I'll just add this one just for the purpose of the tutorial I'll use this I'll add there we go I'll put that element right there I don't think you place it as randomly as I would but yeah I hope you don't then you can also crop and rotate with this you can just crop your photo that's that this is all that's all this is you should be able to figure that one out yourself when you're doing it cut out okay i'm just gonna add an image to cut out because image okay all right this one as you can see this one has a blue background and i don't want the blue background so I go to the cutout tab, then I go to magic cutout, then make sure remove is checked, then I'll click on the background and the background will, will automatically be removed. I also play with the tolerance, softness, hint, I can remove the hint and all of that stuff but that doesn't look too good to me. It might suit your thumbnail but it doesn't suit mine. Okay I don't know where I'm going to put this guy. Uh, just make him sit on top of that. I'm just going to make him sit on the other guy's head. Move him down. Plonk him on his head. That actually looks quite cool. Now, now I can adjust and filter. And I can change the colour of, of the image to make the grass to make the grass either look black and white, or I can make it look really lush and green saturation I can change I can make it look really lively and summerly or I can turn it to a winter scene I'm gonna make it like this temperature you can change to make it look hot or cold I'm gonna make it look a bit cold you can also add tint which make which can make your photo look really cool as well the hue you can also change to make your photo look really funky and epic but I'm, I'm not really going to do much. You can change the brightness, exposure. Basically, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do in that tab. And there's also an effects tab where you can add cool effects to your picture. Again, there's loads of effects to choose from here. So, <coughs> so, so when, you, when you're making your thumbnail, you can have a look and see which one fits your video the best. The next thing is liquify. These are these are just some these are just some cool things that you can add to your thing. Not many people would have to use them. And you can also patch stuff. You can infill stuff. You can clone stamp, sharpen, and you can dodge and burn stuff. So And you can also draw. Basically, this is as simple as just drawing on your image. Just gonna say this is epic. There we go, done. Now, my tutorial thumbnail is made. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks disgusting, but your, your, you can customize yours and make it look exactly how you want but I, I'm just using all of the buttons for this tutorial video so now you click save then you name what you want to call it once again I'm just going to call it tutorial tutorial output then I click download then my thumbnail will be downloaded I just click down here then I can see my thumbnail has been downloaded as an image file ready to be uploaded to YouTube